Hey guys, it's Peter Someone Six here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to remove objects, map objects in Giants Editor. Um, this is for PC only. Um, this is going to be very simple for beginners. Anyone can do this if they have a computer. And um, yeah, I'll show you how to do it. So let's so to get started, you need to open up your browser. Go to Giants Development Developer Network and then you need to make an account unfortunately. Once you've made your account then you need to head to the downloads and then you need to download Giants Edit uh, the latest one and then just install it the same way as you'd install any other piece of software or game on your computer. Okay, so once you have the editor installed on your computer, the next step is to get whatever map it is that you want to remove an object from. This is a menu park farm map, and you need to um, extract, go extract, or you might have a different setup on your computer if you have some third party software, but this is, it should be something like unzip or something. So. Do that. You cannot um edit the map when it's in a zipped up folder. So now I have two folders: one that's the original zipped, and then my unzipped folder. And if it didn't bring up this, well then you can open that. And um, then usually it's like in maps or something. Every map can be set up a bit different, but basically you need to find the main uh, map file it should be something called like map or um but it's like an i3 d file format file on it once you have the editor installed on your computer you have the iron giants logo so go ahead and open that and uh, because i have two versions of the editor on my computer currently it's given me an option you have to choose which one, but if you don't have why, right, just go ahead and open it right up. So, once you have a map opened in the editor, you have something like this. Uh, one thing that I'm going to point out quickly is if you just, um, you can click on any object by just clicking the mouse. So if you just select something, um, otherwise this won't work what I'm going to show you next but you need to have something otherwise you need to click on this window basically to be able to change this nav speed because by default it's set to something stupid like 10 um, you need to increase that to something like 60 using the plus and minus on your um, keyboard on the numpad um, that will just make it a lot easier to move around the map so now i'm going to show you um how to move in the map so to move in the editor you need to press out and then if you press the um, left mouse button on your mouse and move the mouse one way or the other you can rotate um, it takes a bit of getting used to but yeah that's how you move, that's how you rotate, and then um, to zoom, like in and out, you can use your um, scroll wheel, but I tend not to use that, I don't know why, you can use your scroll wheel, and then if you press out, and right click the mouse, then you can um, you can zoom that way. That's how I prefer to zoom. But yeah, you can use your square wheel or press out and um, right click the mouse button and um, hold it down. I mean, you need to hold it down and move the mouse at the same time and press and hold out down but you can take your um, finger off of out basically a lot of the time i just keep it on out but and then to like pan or what you call it you press out 
and um, hold down both the left and the right mouse buttons together and move your mouse and that way you can um, yeah move around like that it takes a bit of getting used to but um, once you get the hang of it you can um, move anywhere you want without thinking about it or I can <laughs> it's um it does take a bit of getting used to but you can basically zoom in and out and rotate to move if you want <laughs> yeah so next what we're going to do we're just going to select say you want to remove this piece of hedge you can just click on it like that and it'll select a piece of hedge and then basically um you can just press press delete on your keyboard and it's gone so you can get rid of this hedge just like this by just clicking on it with the mouse and then pressing pressing delete and um this will work in the game fine just like that so we want we could delete we could delete these trees just select them sometimes trees now you do need to be a bit careful um sometimes if you click and it might select something else that you probably don't want to delete but trees can be a bit tricky to select sometimes they won't select but yeah you can just select them and play, press delete on your keyboard or um some objects um there might be a few objects in the map that if they are deleted um it might cause an error in your game or something so if you have any worries about like an object if you're going to delete something and it's going to mess up the map or something you can just like say this shed um i don't want to delete it but i, I don't want it here so you could basically just like you see this green aisle the one that's going upwards if you just um go over it hover over it it'll turn yellow and then if you hold on it hold your mouse button and then move your mouse you can pull it down and then basically it'd be just under the map obviously you can pull it back up again if you wish or um i'll just show you basically how to move objects now me uh, with the other aisles you make sh make sure they turn yellow and just hold your mouse button on them and move your mouse at the same time and you can um move the object so that's the basics of how you remove annoying objects in your map as you can see it's very easy and this is not going to mess up your game too much um sometimes um like whatever you select it will bring it up here in the scene graph and sometimes um like if you have a group of objects you can like select um like trees and stuff and you can um find the um the group of um like this is a group of trees in here and then you could delete all the trees of trees in one go if you wanted or find the group that contains all the hedges and delete all the hedges on the entire map if you wish yeah when it comes to gateways like if you want to remove a gate um probably the first thing that's going to select when you try to select anything is going to be this trigger like say it's a trigger in here and um you need to find the the group so the main group is this one and then this is now the or the gate otherwise you're just selecting this trigger you won't be able to um do anything much with it but yeah it's probably best um not to um delete it so just put it under the ground that will not with it being under the ground will infect 
the game in a new way. It just will be a new way. Because of the way the gates work, they have animations and that, and sometimes if you delete them, it might make an error in your log or something. And another thing is, if you have like a placeable object, this is a placeable object. So, if if I delete this in the um, editor, uh, if I delete this farm, so it's bit two in the editor. If I go in the game, it will still show up in the game. You need to sell it in the game. Or well, if you don't have an option to sell it, then, um, yeah, it's a bit tricky. Um, there is ways of getting rid of them, but um, I won't go into that today. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, any faking, um, there's usually a group called play sodas. This means it's, like, basically... So when you're in the editor it just shows the place where the placeables is going to go and it's in the group called place sodas so if you select that now you can see all the placeables on the map and so that's one thing to bear in mind anything in the place sodas group no matter if you delete them in the editor they will still show in the map you need to sell them or have a, Otherwise, um, you need to um, edit them out of your default items XML on your save game. So yeah, that's basically um, it. So then once you've made your change, you've took out your hedge or you've removed your building or whatever, then you need to go up here and then just save it. And then it will just like X come up export and it might take a few um, seconds to do. Uh, my computer always comes up not responding before it. Then it will become ready. Then you can just um, quit it. And then once you've done that, um, you're ready to go. You can just basically put this folder. You don't need to zip it up again. The only reason to zip it up is if you're going to play multiplayer and um, obviously this map will not work in multiplayer now because it's been edited so whoever you play multiplayer with would need the same version as this for it to work um, but yeah it has to be a zipped one to work in multiplayer but for single player you can just put this straight in your mods folder and it will work fine and um, just make sure that you don't already have the um, original version in there because otherwise it will, might override your editing and then it won't work so just make sure you have one called um, whatever the map name is and yeah that will work fine for single player if you want to use it in multiplayer then yeah, like I say make it back into a zip folder which basically you can just create a new um, zip folder and then name it to the map name, which I'm not going to do for sake of time. And then just open this folder and then everything in here, you just copy that. And then you just paste it, you just paste it into this folder and that will work fine then for multiplayer. But if you just keep it like an unzipped folder for single player, then it's very easy. Then you don't have to mess around unzipping it. If you just want to go in and remove another object at any point, then it's very simple. You can leave it in your mods folder. Just open this folder and locate the i3d file and you're good to go. So thanks for watching guys and if you have any trouble, please let me know. And um, please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like this video. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.